Hello, my name is Brian. This is my wife Gail, and we are going to show you our technique for cleaning and filleting a Kenai River Red. First of all, um, it's essential that you have a fillet glove. Safety first, uh, you're dealing with a sharp knife and the glove is essential. First thing I start out with is I de-slime the fish. And I do that mainly so that when I'm cleaning and filleting that it doesn't slide around too much. Now when, when we process our fish, we, we skin all of, our, all of our salmon meat. If you use the skin for uh, vacuum sealing or barbecuing or canning or smoking and you don't want to deal with the, with the scales at a later date, then now would be a good time to descale the fish. But since we, we, uh, since we skin all of our fish, this is as far as we go, as far as the skin is concerned. I'll start by cutting the top fin off, like that, and I do that so that when I turn the fish over and work with the bottom, then it doesn't wobble around too much. I'll take this fin at the bottom and I'll cut this off, and these I call my bunny bites. I smoke them and they make very tasty treats. Here we move on to where we cut the fish. Start at the back and just come all the way up the center. Now you can you can leave the guts in to fillet the fish, but I like to take it out because it makes it a little bit cleaner when we do the when we do our fillet. After that we can clean off the fish. Okay, when I fillet the fish, I use a slicing knife like this. It has scallop, uh, on, it, scallop marks on the blade and it prevents the meat from sticking to the blade. I would come in behind the collar Cut down until you hit the backbone. Turn the knife 90 degrees, almost flat, but a little bit raised on the back side, so that when you run the knife down the backbone, it just makes it a smooth cut. When you flip it over, when you do the second cut, you can take the collar on the other side, hook it on the board, and then it'll make it, it'll hold the fish when you do the second cut. Down to the backbone, 90 degrees, and it just slices like that. And if all goes well, this is all that you have left. Now the next process, we will cut this little bit of belly skin away from the bottom. And this will help in the next process of deboning. Gail will show you how to debone the fish and take out the rib bones. And she's here in her Kenai River fish cleaning attire, which is her own design of a trash bag with a head, head opening and two arm openings. And it helps to keep, uh, keep you clean while you're cleaning fish. So when she starts on the deboning, she'll use basically just the maybe the first two or three inches of the knife and running her running the blade along the backbone and she can feel the blade through the backbone and make the knife makes it for a nice clean cut. End up with just a little bit of bone. Now there is a difference if you're left-handed or right-handed whether 
one side of the fillet is easier to do than the other. So if it, if it feels a little uncomfortable to, to do one side over the other, that's natural. Now on this side, it's harder to feel as she's cutting because you're going against the angle of the bone. So she's flipping it back and forth to make sure that she doesn't cut any extra meat off that she doesn't have to. This is all that you have left is just the rib bone. Thank you. Okay, for our next step, we're going to start the uh, skinning of the fish. And we will start by cutting off a portion of the belly. And we do that because when you're grilling a fish, if it's, if it's more consistent on the thickness, it makes it easier to grill. So what we'll do is, we vac when we vacuum seal, our bag is about this long. So we will cut the fish about here, and we will, just, we will skin the fish. But for that, we use a duller knife. Um, if you use your sharp knife, you end up cutting the skin, and then you end up having to peel it off at a later time. So if you start out with a dull knife, cut down to the skin, turn your blade 90 degrees flat on the board, and just tug on the skin and rock the knife and you end up with a clean fillet. Flip it over, and you can do the same thing with the tail. And then we'll do the belly. Same thing. Down to the skin, along the board, and just run the knife along there. Second piece, do the same thing. We'll cut this belly piece off. Take our dull knife, about here, down to the skin, 90 degrees, and pull your blade along. If you do happen to nick the skin, you'll end up with pieces of skin here, and if you want to take it off, then you can take them off. Uh, it's a little bit of a pain, but you can still do it. And then do the tail piece. Now, if you have any craft people that like to work with salmon skin, you can give them your salmon skin. So what you end up with is two fillets, you have your two tail pieces, you have your two bellies, and your bunny bite. Then after I'm done with this, then I'll pass it on to Gail and she'll trim it down, make sure it it's, uh, uh, looks nice. If there's any skin that was left on here, she'll take that off. If there's any scales that are left, she'll remove that. And then. Um, Put it in the trays, layer it with paper towels, and it takes off some of the moisture so that when you do your vacuum sealing, it, it makes it a lot cleaner. Uh, one tip, if you're trying to give fish to kids and you don't want them to have any bones, give them the tail piece. The tail piece does not have any bones at all. And I think that covers it. Um, this is our technique on how to do it, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thank you.